What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you for cooling with Jay as always. So as y'all know, this is my 2021 Ducati V4S Street Fighter in the Dark Stealth colorway. Um, so in today's video guys, we are going to go over the dash system um, as I did on my 2018 Pentagalli V4. Um, I'm going to do the same thing on this bike, kind of go through all of the settings, all of the controls and kind of walk y'all through um, what a Street Fighter um, dash looks like. All right, so let's get started. All right, so as you can see here, obviously this is the cockpit view. This is of course what I see when I'm on my ride, um, I'll kind of make my way from left to right. Starting from left to right, we have the Moto Gadget bar and mirror here. Um, you have your clutch lever there. Okay. You have, this is the flasher brights and also for your um, lap timer. Okay. You have your bright stuff to turn on your high beams here. Um, your, hazard, your, your, your hazards are here. Um, here are the switches that you'll see me use throughout the video to go through your mode select is here and to select whatever it is You'll push this in up and down. This is more selected for the right part of the screen Here see that controls that So see some controlling and then when I hit select I'll just hit this right here push that part in and that will select whatever I'm doing there. Okay Then of course you have your um, turn signal here, left and right. Then you got your horn under here. That's your horn. Okay. You have your steering stabilizer here. And as y'all all know, and I say multiple times in my video, this is my quad lock. Um, so I'll go over this in a, in its own review, but yeah, this is my quad lock with the shock absorber on it. So as y'all already know, Save at checkout, man. Use the promo code Coolin with J and save on all Qualock products. So hey, if y'all looking for something for Christmas, um, for a friend, family member, for yourself, use promo code Coolin with J at checkout. Um, then of course you have your clutch reservoir here. Uh, moving on this side, you have your brake reservoir. Um, so this, um, I can zoom in. This comes on all Street Fighters because um, they come equipped ready for heated grips. So you'll see this button, um, that's what this is. And then um, if you get it installed, you'll see this cable run. So that's for the heated grip. So these are actually aftermarket, or not aftermarket, these are the grips you get with the heated grips. Um, so these are not the ones you would see on a non-heated grip uh, Ducati. Then of course you have your off and on, kill switch, your ignition, you get this little secret button right here, which is your launch control. So if I click this button here, you'll see your Ducati power launch, essentially what they call it. And you have level one, two, three, and exit. Okay. Then of course your throttle. All right. So I'll go back into the screen. If I, if I hit the heat of grips, you'll see that. So that means, of course, my heated grips are on. You have, and if I press the same button again, hotter, the hottest, and then off. Um, I actually leave it on green. To be honest, my only con about the heated grips is I, is I feel like the yellow and red are way too hot. Like this is already burning. Like I, like I don't know when you would need the yellow, to be honest, unless you're in like 20 degree weather. Like it is hot, real, real talk, it is hot. So I really leave it on green um, or the lowest setting. Like I think low, again, I feel like they need to reprogram those heats because I mean, I was cooking my hands on my ride I went on when I actually needed the heated grips. So anyway, with that being said, now we will go into the full depth um, screen and I'll kind of go in from starting with left um, down then top right and then um, bottom right and kind of go through the TFT the main screen and then kind of go through all of the functions and features after that 
Okay, so let's get started. This is what you get, of course, when you turn on the bike. Um, this is, you know, kind of the startup sequence. Um, you are actually able to start the bike while going through the sequence. I choose not to actually. I choose to wait till the full sequence does its thing. And then I go through the process of then turning on the ignition and going through. We will start with um, the left side, work our way down, then go to the top right and work our way down. Um, so I have the actually have the lap timer on right now so you can see but anyway so you have the low and high at the very top of course this is the um, how hot your engine is essentially getting okay but um, below that you have of course your your uh, lap timer here all you do is hit the flashes and that starts now it's gonna stop because the bike is not physically moving forward or the and the engine is not on so actually it, it's gonna reset um, back to zero but of course, if the bike was moving, you hit that. And then of course, when you complete the lap, hit it again and your lap is stored. Or of course, if you buy the aftermarket, um, the Ducati GPS logger thing, um, you're able to do the lap through, through that way, I believe. And then I think, I, I think how it works is when your bike hits that same GPS location again, the lap restarts. I could be wrong on that. Then below on that, you have the lap of course is on. Then you have your, um, of course you have your mile per hour, the A with the green light, that is referring to auto, auto lights are on. Um, basically that will switch between, you know, your actual beams and just your daytime running lights. You have your average fuel, your lap off, your, set, your, your settings, my total miles on my bike, 1372. My trip one, of course you push it in to, to reset. Your average um, fuel used, um, of course, the bike isn't moving. I haven't gone any ride, so it's 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 grayed out. Basically, your average speed grayed out. Again, the bike's not moving. Trip time. Again, I haven't gone anywhere. Bike isn't on. Um, air. I wish it was 73 degrees. I'm actually, of course, in my garage, so that's why I was reading 73 degrees. Um, trip fuel. So basically, when your fuel light comes on, um, this will count up. Okay. So that's essentially what happens. Um, this will, I think, will, I think it's not on um, when there is no fuel essentially low. So once you hit the the uh, one gallon reservoir in your fuel tank, this comes on and then it counts up. So basically, I've I've driven 11 miles since my fuel light has come on. Okay. Now I've done about mm, Basically my sweet spot is between 16 to 21 miles, I say. I've actually killed the bike um, at 19 miles. So actually as soon as I get on my bike, again, if you know, when I do, I'm gonna instantly fuel up. Cause yeah, that's pushing close to where, for me, 15 is like my, okay, you're getting gas right now, immediately is 15, okay? Um, trip, of course. And so yeah, then top right, of course, is the time, 9.53 uh, PPM. You of course have the tack. Um, so basically it's, it's red, it's a red kind of half circle for race. And then if you notice from the six RPM all the way to 15, um, it's bolder numbers, okay? And everything below six is small, all right? If you go into, um, sport mode basically all the numbers are the same size okay and then it's kind of a black kind of half circle and then if you go into street mode it's a gray half circle that's the only difference as far as uh, street and sport race gives you the only big difference but again remember in, in the settings you're able to change that um, as you want okay and then of course the bottom right um, using the one I mentioned um, before, the select on the furthest to the TFT dash, you're able to, of course, change your settings on the fly. Okay, so you can dial in certain settings. So this is ideally, of course, for the track. So like if you're going on a, you know, a, a, a turn or a certain lap and you feel like, you know, I want to do a little bit more traction control or a little bit less wheelie control, you can essentially go in here and say, boom, select wheelie control. I'm gonna go down to a four, boom, done. Same thing with the on the fly, you know, again, bike can be on, you know, you're, of course, that's why it shows the miles per hour um, right here because you're still moving. 
you can say, all right, I want to go into race mode. Boom. It's going to ask you, of course, to engage the clutch. Um, then you do. You release the clutch. You're in the race mode and you, you keep going. Okay. So that's essentially what the main, the main screen is um, on the TFT dash. And then, of course, you go into menus and you can dive even, of course, even further um, into the menu button. Okay. So you got, so inside the setting menu, you have your writing mode, your pen, code, your lap, your backlight, day clock, units, service, tire, daytime running lights, turn indicators, your info, and then exit. Okay. So back to the top. I wish you could go down from here and hit this and then go back to the top, but you can't. Obviously, of course, the exit, but I wish there was a way to come back to the top. Anyway, starting with, we'll, we'll go into writing mode because that's a bigger that's where all your menus are. You go, of course, you got your pin code. You can change that. Um, you have the lap timer on and off, as, as you saw on the main screen. Your backlight, you're able to go from auto. Of course, this means when it when it sees or you know you know senses that it's during the day, it will have, of course, the white mode, um, the white backlight. And of course, at night, it will switch to the dark mode. Or like you know, if you're going through a tunnel, it'll switch. Um, for my for my camera, like my GoPro and stuff, I like it to be in the darker mode. Um, I also have on um, the um, screen protector, so it actually adds a, la uh, a layer of tint um, to it as well. That's what you're seeing there. Your date your date and clock. I can change that. Your units. Basically, that means you know your mile per hour. Okay. Your temperature, Fahrenheit your consumption, miles per gallon. Now, once you select one of them, you always know because it'll jump to the back section. So I'll click select, see that it jumps back to back, which means something has been selected. Then I'll hit back. Service, this tells me, of course, where my annual service is to my Desmo service and my oil service. Okay, back. Tire calibration, essentially, if you're at the track and you're changing tire sizes or, or tires in, in general, you can break that here. Here's your daytime running lights. You got manual, auto, and back, okay? Your turn indicators. Basically what this means is it uses the six axis to, to, to see um, when you turn on your turn signal, basically when you lean, right? Because obviously, let's say you're the light, okay? You, you um, turn it on. When you go into the turn and you lean, and then it comes back up, it, it recognizes this, and then it, and then it turns the um, turn signal off. So essentially, you're not that guy rolling down the road with your turn signals on, okay? Um, so that's what this is. So go to auto, back, your info mode. There's my battery. Just making sure I have enough battery before I kill it doing this video. Um, so that's that menu, okay? So now we'll go into writing mode. So you have race, sport, and street, okay? Now, within all three of these, you can change all the parameters within. So you can make race, sport, sport, race, street, race, whatever you want to do, and you can change all the parameters, okay? And remember when I mentioned about the gray kind of half circle and the red for street, I mean for race, you can make that on um, street mode if you want to, okay? So we're going to sport mode, okay? So inside sport, you'll see these um main categories okay and i'll go into each of these all right so we'll start with the first all right so go, going in here this is essentially where all your rider aids are okay so you'll see your um, Ducati traction control okay i usually keep mine at a six reason why is because seven and eight is only for for a wet tire okay as you can see here so you'll say wet tire only and as you go down get less traction control and as you can see it moves over for track and it's more performance less stable and then you have off okay then you have the um, Ducati wheelie control again I leave mine on eight and it goes down from eight all the way down I believe to off yep you can turn wheelie control all the way off okay again I leave mine on the max then you have um, Ducati slide control here you have two one off and you have default. So this will default to the sport settings that are made from the factory. Okay. Excuse me. Then we'll go into engine mode. So it's on medium right now. Okay. Basically high and medium have the same amount of horsepower. Just basically high 
has a dynamic, they call it, a response, or just think of it as an instant. When you pull the funnel, it's an instant response or more aggressive, okay? Medium just means it's a smoother power delivery. Low actually changes the actual horsepower of the bike. So for those of you, or for those of you who didn't know, I actually started on a 2018 Ducati Panigale um, V4, and I basically started off in the low power mode. What this means is, is, is essentially makes it like a, let's say like a middle class bike, right? Like a 959. I think, the, I think it reduces it to about 140, 150 horsepower, which is that very similar to a 959. The only difference is, of course, is, is that the displacement and the torque is, of course, not as much higher, obviously, than a 959, but the horsepower is that. So it's a, it's a lower um, power mode, um, basically. Then you have ABS. You have um, both. You have three, two, just one means front. So you can't turn an ABS off. You can just do just the front wheel only, okay? Then you have your braking control, engine brake. Um, I leave mine on two. Um, I think actually it comes um, stock on one for sport. I like two. I like in the middle. That's that's the one I do change. Then you have a Ducati quick shifter up and down, obviously. Um, obviously what this means is you're able to shift between gears without pulling the clutch up and down with the auto blip. Okay, there is no um, just up. It's just either up, up and down or off. Of course, you got the info mode. As I mentioned here, you can make sport mode into track as far as the dash is concerned. Okay. Then you have your suspension. So this is the option that will not be here if you do not have a S um, Ducati of any sort. So if you don't have the V4S Panigale or the V4S Street Fighter, um, th this mode will not be here. You will go from info straight back into default. Okay. So within here, you have fixed and dynamic um, suspension. Basically, your dynamic is, you know, as you see, that's basically your semi active suspension. It's basically reacting to what's happening on the road, the pavement, and your driving style and you know, all your inputs. Is using all the six axis to essentially, you know, dial in what to give you back as far as the suspension. And within here, you have active and custom. Okay, so I'll click active and back, or I can go to active and do custom and the brake fork. So it's it's plus five and minus five. So as you can tell here, if I want more brake support, I'll go here. If I want a softer brake support, here. Okay, front fork, same thing here. If I want to be a much firmer feel, obviously I'll go up, more stability, and then of course down for more com comfort or softer on front fork. Shock absorber, same thing for your rear shock. Don't want softer or firmer, that will be here. Your steering dampener, okay, same concept. Plus five for, for stability or minus five for handling. Okay, and then back, um, so active. Or I can go into fixed, see, so active. So now I can do an active fixed suspension so it's not gonna move, right? So, so it's not gonna go through parameters, it's gonna be obviously fixed at that actual number that you select. <clears throat> so active, fixed, and custom fixed. So then same concept here. So see, I can really dial in, as you can tell here, I can really dial in exactly where I want it to be. See, um, front rebound. So if you want to really control your your suspension setup with, with the active, this is the benefit too to having it, right? Now, most people don't touch this. They'll just leave it on, you know, active and be done, but you are able to fully dial this in. Your rear rebound, okay? Steering dampener and then back. So I'm going to go back, dynamic, active back cool and then default and back so there you go those are pretty much those parameters i just set were, were within sport and then of course I, I can do that same thing for street and same thing for race okay so that is about it guys that is um everything on the my, excuse me not me 
So, so yeah, guys, that, that is everything on my 2021 um, Ducati V4S Street Fighter and the Dark Stuff colorway, guys. I'll be doing a lot more videos about the bike more in depth, and hopefully, if I can squeeze in a ride, but before the snow hits or if it gets super cold, I definitely, of course, want to still moto vlog. But these are why I say these kind of videos uh, for the winter is because I can make them. And, uh, you know, because obviously it's it, it's better to make these kind of videos when I when I can't ride than when I can ride. So I, I did this on my last bike. So I thought it'd be cool to redo it again on my Street Fighter. So, guys, as always, thank you for cooling with Jay. And I'll see all of y'all in the next video.